If you're starting to talk about spatial medicine, and I believe that, as I say, personal trainers, yoga teachers, everybody that's in the realm of the body is working in this idea of how does the body sit in space and what does that mean in terms of how does the person operate, you can't escape the fascial system. Neuromuscular won't do it. So musculoskeletal sure won't do it. The idea that muscles attach to the skeleton and move the skeleton around is a really bad, really outdated, really biomechanical leftover from the way that we did the body and we should get rid of that idea of the individual muscles moving the skeleton. You see a skeleton in the classroom, it's standing up there, but it's got a rod up its bum and that goes all the way up its, its uh, spine to the head. You don't have, at least I hope, unless you're English, you don't have that rod going up your spine. And you don't want a rod going up your spine. The actual skeleton floats in a net of fascia. But we've ignored that fascia, or that's not fair. We haven't ignored it. We thought about it in terms of the Achilles tendon, or the hamstring tendons, or the sacrotuberous ligament, or the anterior longitudinal ligament, but none of those things are separate. And again, I'm sitting right on this. This is the scientific truth. This is not some new age shibboleth that we're drawing out to try to say, oh, everything's connected to everything else. Everything is connected to everything else. It's the separations that science makes which are useful for analysis, but then if we forget the fact that it is one unitary thing, then we lose the, which is what I got from Bucky Fuller, the action of the whole unpredicted by the action of the parts. So we think if we understand this part and this part and this part and this part and how it works, that we can put all those parts together and come up with human movement. Well, kinesiology, you've had 150 years at this. How's that working out for you? Not very well. Our current biomechanics does not explain high-performance sports. It does not explain uh, human embryology and how we get a human out of one cell. It doesn't explain a lot of stuff about the emotions. When you start taking in the fascial system as a whole system and you realize that everything is giving a little and that the bones are not holding up the muscles, it's the other way around. The fascia and the muscles are holding the bones up and giving it its balance. That gets us out of chiropractic where we're bonging the bones back into place um, and gets into a place where you need active participation of the whole thing. The neurology, the myology, and the fasciology, I'll make up a word, um, but that whole neuromyofascial web combines to make movement. And uh, the whole training industry needs to understand, we're just beginning to understand this. Of course training is changing every five years. Everything that we think about in personal training is thinking about it, or is changing every five years. And what we thought before, for instance, right now I'm into ballistic stretching. Ballistic stretching has been out since Jane Fonda did aerobics in the 1980s. No, don't ballistic stretch. You're going to tighten up your muscles because and everything's going to get, well, well, it turns out that ballistic stretch, bouncing, jump roping, barefoot running, all the things that, are, that have a bounce element to them are the way that we train fascia for elasticity. If you don't do ballistic stretching, you're gonna lose elasticity in the fascia. You're gonna lose crimp, literal crimp in the fascia, and you're gonna lose that elasticity. Old rats and immobilized rats don't have crimp, don't have elasticity in their fascia. Young folks do. Young folks bounce. Babies bounce like crazy. Your grandmom doesn't bounce in the same way. That is a loss of elasticity in the fascia. All right, how much of that is inevitable? You just said that this thing of the, in your eyes is inevitable. I don't care how well you take care of yourself. Somewhere around 50 years old, you're going to need reading glasses for French uh, menus in dimly lit French restaurants. Um, because your focal length will change. However, the fascia in the rest of your body is so dependent on training. If you train elasticity into it, your fascia will stay more elastic. Well, we just said that elastic fascia is young fascia, so we want to train elasticity into the fascia in order to stay young, in order to have a body that reacts like young bodies do. Isn't that what we want as we move older? So 
there, the research into the fascia and the, just the very idea of the fascia as a whole system leads to different treatment strategies if you're in the treatment uh, realm, if you're in the therapeutic realm, and it leads to different strategies if you're in the training realm as well.